Hello and welcome to my channel. If you're like me and you tend to order a lot of books, you never quite know what's coming in the post. So today's a bit of a, I have no idea what's in this package. I have a rather large package, heavy, thick, feels bibly heavy. But there again, I have been ordering some other books. But I, you know what, like I'm convinced this is the Bible one. Anyway, what also came today was, off of eBay, a pack of colouring pencils. Very well presented. They look like nice colours. So I'll have to uh, see what they're like when I open them up and start them in one of my colouring books. But for today, this is our unboxing, our unpackaging, whatever you want to call it. We're going to open it anyway. You will notice that I've noticed the background is very bland, very plain. Well, that's because if you'd have seen my recent update on the craft room, I went to one picture per wall, which is very strange. I'm still getting used to it. But it's funny to see me in a live video now, pulling it open, in the bin, in a live video now with no background. But you can still see printers behind me, Dolly with all my bits and pieces on. Have you met Dolly? I'll just show you Dolly. Hold on. Come over Dolly. No. She's one of these crocheted grannies. And I... Got her some glasses. She's got necklaces on. She's got a shawl on. But what she's got in her pockets, let's lift her up for you. Paint brushes, scissors, little pegs, crochet hooks, more paint brushes, cotton, uh, small pencils, all sorts in there. What's in that one? Bit of lace. <laughs> so you can see how she's going. There's another paintbrush that's gone through. Probably should be in that pocket. But I've got material cutting baby scissors and paper cutting baby scissors. So there you go, my little dolly. And she sits on my printer. And she's just there with all my little bits in that I tend to use. She's also got big darning needles in her. Like, oh, ee, ee, ee. No, it's not the, that one, is it? You've got bits of, bits of material on her. All sorts. Anyway. Oh, and she's got one earring. Can you see this? One earring. I found that in the street. It's, oh, it's pretty. It's only one. Obviously, it wouldn't be any good for me, but I know where it can go. And Dolly has it. So she sits on the printer behind me, just there. I have my oh, daily Bible on there that I'm working through. That sits on the printer. Two pots of pencils. This was for the kiddies did me this, Millie and Freddie, grandchildren, which was rather nice. That came during lockdown last year, 2020. And it's got my favourite pencils in it that I draw with, which are Faber Castle. There we go. Faber Castle. Castle 9000. Can you see that? There we go. Hope you can see it. It's got a highlighter in it. It's got a wet brush in it. It's got my favourite Pentel Finitos. These are really good for details. And it has just a normal pencil in there. Because I don't write with my artist ones. I write with normal pencils. Because these are artist pencils. Anyway. And then the other one. I just have some start watercolour. They are. The ends of. Obviously the ones that I use a lot. And they're getting smaller and smaller. And they can only fit. One right down in the middle in there. There he is. <laughs> I won't part with it. But they fit in there and they sit nicely up on the printer if I want to colour pencil. 
And of course, last but not least on the printer, is my writing out the Bible project, which we have several videos on. So I don't need to go into detail on that. Anyway, I digress, digress. We're into the parcel. So, <laughs> yes, it's what I was expecting. <laughs> oh, you naughty thing, Lynn. I am terrible at ordering Bibles. And I thought, I've got enough Bibles. Like, there's only over 70 of them. Surely I've got enough now. And it's not that I want to show off having them all. It's just that I love Bibles. And I love different Bibles. And I want to show you them all as well. So this one that's come in the post today is this. The Rainbow Study Bible. Now if you can see, it's literally, you open it up and it is all coloured. See this? And down the bottom it has the key for the colours. So it's got discipleship, outreach, God, salvation, love, commandments, family, faith, prophecy, evil, sin, and history. They are all the different colours that you can get on any one page. So it's like you instantly know who's written it, why they've written it, what it's about. Now I won't do a big review, clearly because I'll have to dress it first and then do you a big review. But you can see I just had to have it. It was just so colourful. Oh, yes, it's an NIV edition by Holman. It says NIV new improved user friendly design. It's always a user friendly design with me, isn't it? I'm just going to see. Ah, okay, the cover comes off and it's exactly the same on a hardcover. Over three million sold. No, I haven't got the three million. I, <laughs> I hasten to add, I've not got three million of these. You put it past me, but no, I haven't. On the back's good as well. But as I say, I'll do a full review of this one once I've dressed it up. Clearly I probably won't use the cover. But I'll put it back on before I dress it. And then when I do a full review on that one, I'll um, take the cover off. I mean, first of all, the, the initial thoughts are, what can I put in it? It's got some lovely, it's got lovely green inside, so that'll be photos, won't it? Or scripture, perhaps? Or fussy cups, perhaps? Oh, this is looking really good. And there's pages that I can put photos on. There's explanations. I'm going into it too much, aren't I? I'm really sorry. Anyway, as I said, in the post today, <laughs> came a new Bible. I was sure that was in the in there anyway. But it's, it's the weight. <laughs> I mean, if it's a reading book, it's not really this heavy, is it? Looks like we've got one ribbon in there, which is fine. We can do one ribbon. I wonder what tabs I'd put in it, though, because it's so colourful already. That'll be a challenge to see what tabs I use. Anyway, there you go. This was what came in the post today. Bit of a bit extra. Bit of a chat. Bit of a say hello. Bit of a hope you're taking care of yourself. Oh, and I'll let you into a secret. So there I am today working away on my, actually, on an Inspire. I won't show you because there's going to be a proper video. It's an Inspire Catholic Bible. I didn't know they did those in Catholic, but clearly they do. And I'm in the process of dressing that one. And then I thought I'll read the extra books that are the extra seven books that are in the Catholic Bible that aren't in the Christian Bibles, you know, the normal Bibles. And then I dug deeper and wanted to find out why and why there were seven. And then it was a case of, well, 
I'll read them through so that at least I'll know where I'm coming from. You know, I'm not just, oh yeah, I've got it, so put it on the shelf. I do like to actually read my Bibles. But the print's not exactly very big. So in my infinite wisdom, there I am on Amazon. Is there a large print Inspire Catholic Bible, NIV version? Yes, there is. Okay. Is there one on eBay that I might save just a bit of money? You know, not... Sorry, Amazon, but money's money here and the amount of Bibles I buy <laughs> does take some funding. And yes, eBay had one for me at about £5 less. Had to have it. So that one's on order. So I'll do an unboxing on the new Inspire large print. And then I'll bring you the reviews, clearly. So that's, you've had an inbox, an inbox, an out, an unboxing, I'll get it out in a minute, on the Holman Rainbow. There'll be an unboxing on the Inspire Catholic NIV. And then there'll be dressing of three Bibles to come at least there, isn't it? Oh, I've got loads to do. <gasps> Must rush. Have plenty to do. Anyway, bit of nonsense. Bit of sharing. Don't forget the pencils. <laughs> we shall see how they work. Because a lot of these Bible pages, you can't. I can't do my normal Faber Castle pens because it just bleeds through. So I knew need pencils, of course. Do I have enough? Looking at the side of me, yes, I probably do. But never mind. <laughs> What's that got to do with anything? So after my ramble, do give me a thumbs up. Do subscribe, and uh, stay safe take care and what's that saying it's on the telly it's on the big computer hold it feel it love it i love all my bibles and i love you too for subscribing and watching my silly videos so i'll say bye bye for now